This is a whole cam Luna series uh, frameless shower door. Start by checking the curb and the walls and making sure everything's plumb uh, and level uh, and flat. And um, you want to make sure you check the inside and the outside of the walls, um, not just the inside. Uh, so you know what's going on with your walls. Um, if they're close, you shouldn't have too much problem. But, uh, you know, if the threshold, the curbs, you know, high on one side, low on the other, you know, you need to know these things going into it so you can adjust as you go. Uh, there are some adjustments on these doors. Um, and then I'm just uh, checking the curb, make sure it's nice and straight. And then they want you to locate the center uh, where your doors are going to be with this bracket on the that goes on the bottom. It actually doesn't get fastened until after the doors are on. But I'm I'm actually going to start at the top. They want you to start with this thing, find your you know uh, where you want the center to be, and then run it up the wall and locate it that way. I guess you could do it that way, but I'm me being stupid. I guess I'm going to start from the top and go down. Um, with these big hunk of brackets they give you. Everything hangs from these two brackets. A lot of weight, three-eighths glass, uh, a lot of weight on this thing. So um, I'm actually, uh, I have about, well, there's a half inch drywall and then I got about four and a half inches of framing um, inside that wall right there. Plenty of room for this bracket. There's three screws on, the t on this uh, bracket, one on the left, one on the right, one in the middle. Um, so I'm going to locate the center of the bracket. I'm actually going to bump it in to like three quarters from the edge. That way I'm for sure going to hit some wood with that uh, end screw on the one side. And I'm also going to mark the center of the uh, curb for when I put this bracket in since I was down there anyways. Uh, there's a center slot. Uh, that's elongated. I'm going to mark that, measure that distance, and then transfer that to the top. I'll show you how I got the the, the height on this thing here in a second. Uh, I got ahead of myself, but mark that elongated hole because you're going to uh, drill that one first before you do the other two. Uh, they want you to measure the height of the glass and then subtract nine four and nine sixteenths from that measurement which gave me 69 and a sixteenth that would be the height to the bottom of my bracket i took a punch and just made a little indent so my drill bit wouldn't walk away from me there and drill that first hole get your brackets on where you think they should go set the rod in there and check it uh, you also need to check the uh, bracket and make sure it's not twisted or something uh, take your little torpedo level, check that before you mark the other holes. You got a panhead screw that goes in the middle, and regular screws on the other two sides are stainless screws. And I actually, I goobered the crap out of those, the holes and the screws and the bracket and everything behind it with silicone before I mounted them. Um, and then on, on both sides, you can see there's some plastic pins in there, which you actually have to put those in before you put the bracket on. Um, I'll show you how I did that. There's uh, there's two long ones and two short ones for each side. They're just like stopper blocks. Um, the, the bracket towards the shower head, the short ones go towards the shower head, towards the inside of the shower, which would be this one. Short ones towards the shower head, long ones on the outside. Uh, the other side, the opposite side of the shower heads, the exact opposite. And you can see when you push those in from the back, and they go flush, and then mounting the bracket actually holds them in place. So the other side's the exact opposite of that. The long ones would be on the inside. You can see there, short ones on the outside. And then they have these uh, uh, stabilizer plates, I guess you'd call them, um, with some set screws on them to help stabilize that, uh, that rod after you get it in there. Um, so tighten those down. And then move on to the uh, wheels for the glass. You actually have to take these apart. Um, they have a cap. And then there's a set screw that comes out of the middle of it. And then they come apart. You can see that just unscrews. And then you'll see uh, the set screw that, that goes uh, inside of it. There's an Allen wrench for that that they give you, uh, which is nice. They give you all the Allen wrenches that you need for these things. 
Uh, super heavy duty. All this hardware is really nice. Um, don't lose your, there's like plastic washers and stuff that go through the glass and against the glass to help it from getting uh, smushed. Uh, don't lose any of those. So get your top wheels on. Inside panel goes on first. Uh, wheels go towards the outside. Uh, glass towards the inside like that. And then that panel actually only has one hole in it. The, the side towards the shower head. Um, and then you can see it's kind of drilled off center or that's actually the height adjustment. It kind of freaks you out when you're looking at it. You don't know if the hole's center or not. I, you can't tell, but that that's your height adjustment. I set them all the way up to start with. And then I got uh, both panels hung and then you put your, your door sweeps on the bottom. Those just wedge onto the glass. You got to cut them to fit, though. And then I slid that uh, bracket on. I'm going to locate that side to side and in and out. And then what I'm going to do is make a couple of pencil marks, a couple of real light reference marks so I can drill the holes in it. Uh, after I drilled the holes, I, like again, loaded up those holes in the, the little... Uh, Sleeves with silicone and then silicone around it. Didn't spare any silicone uh, putting these down because uh, I don't like drilling through the curb like that. But uh, it's pretty waterproof, this thing. Uh, and then these have uh, anti-track uh, jumpers on them, I guess. These little wheels that go on the underneath side so the, the door can't jump off the track. And you can see that little, there's little, very little adjustment on those. Uh, you want to be about a sixteenth of an inch away from the rail with those, and tighten those down. And then your now that side towards the shower head has little pins, and then the uh, shower rod goes on the outside. Uh, there's bumpers that go on the outside of each panel. Uh, you need to notch around that bottom one so it'll go all the way down. And then the last thing they have is a little uh, peel and stick. Uh, they call it a soft uh, threshold or something like that. Um, it's actually, it's on there pretty good. Um, and then you'll silicone uh, front and back side of that after it's stuck with that peel and stick uh, stuff. You just make sure your threshold's clean. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, biggest thing I would say is take your time. These doors are heavy and, you know, these kind of projects, you really need to just take your time uh, to get through it without, you know, breaking something. So plan on half a day, most of the day doing this and then leave it sit and dry overnight. As far as silicone, there's not a lot of silicone, but uh, yeah. So if you got one of these showers, uh, shower doors, I hope that helps you out.